All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to join us for this uh, webinar. Uh, today we are going to talk about social media job hunt and my name is Mina Kivela and I'm gonna tell you next a little bit more about myself. So greetings from Tampere. Uh, I work in, in Tamp, so Tampere University of Applied Sciences as a senior lecturer in digital marketing and I'm part of Someta Dunin crew and and so Dunin is an EU project that helps people find jobs while using social media but if you want to know more about me you can find me on LinkedIn when you search for Mina Kivela then a couple of more words about our uh, our project. Uh, we are focused on higher educate, education students and, and teachers and, and we offer all kinds of different um, content that helps students um, find employment via digital channels and we also do trainings for, for teachers and coaches and student counselors, uh, different kind of workshops and webinars and so on. And, and our partners are in ad addition to Laurea and TAMK, um, are uh, Labinamk, which is in Lapland, and then University of Eastern Finland. And if you want to learn more about us, please visit sometadunin.fi. Most of our materials are in Finnish at the moment, but you can find some English materials as well. But next, um, let's start our webinar with, um, with um, using social media and getting recruited. So, why you should make an effort in social media? Um, there are a couple of bullet points that I find um, very important. Most of, most of the companies will Google you anyway, so it's, it's crucial to make a good impression and take the charge in your uh, digital footprint. Make sure that the people that Google you find the things that you want them to find. So things that make you look good, things that make you look professional. And, and of course, internet brings people and, and things together. It makes the world smaller. So you can use it to get or find jobs anywhere in the world or uh, make certifications for, for HubSpot or, or so on. And you can use it uh, as, uh, as your benefit. So just provide great content in English if you want to uh, expand your market. And, and of course, most people, they know how to scroll down the social media feed, but it's a different thing uh, creating content. So I, I give you uh, one thing to think about after the webinar as well. Maybe if, uh, if you used 15 minutes or even 30 minutes per day of your scrolling time to do something goal oriented, like like writing a blog post or or making very good updates to to LinkedIn or or tweeting professionally or or using Instagram as your weapon in the in the job hunt it really takes you a long way because anybody can scroll but it's different when you use social media goal oriented so set a goal. It might be, 
it might be something like um, finding finding a job uh, within the next three months or getting this much followers or increasing your engagement or or following um, your influencers at your your field of business so write down those goals and start making small steps um, towards your your end goal so when we talk about social media i'm sorry this is a bit old from four years back but i think most of the social media channels still exist and, and people still use them the only one i've found that is missing is yodel that that people use uh, use a lot especially among the the students when we are talking about social media you can see that it's a big scene and there's a lot of different kind of um, platforms where to choose from so i'm sure that you will find maybe two or three that you really like and you find useful and where your target audience is and with target audience i mean um, the, the companies where you would like to work in the future or the or the influencers that um, that start the conversation in your your field of business where you can find them and which are the most used channels and and of course which channels you prefer and and like and and find yourself most comfortable those are the channels that you should be using so two maybe three channels and focus on on those and on any of the the channels you should make sure that your profiles are in great condition so uh, so all the details are at place maybe you have uh, matching header images on on each of the uh each of the channels and you've hidden the the party photos that you don't want the employers to to find and and uh, people can find your contact information and so on and on any of the the channels you can do networking you can like stuff like updates and updates and person videos and so on you can share stuff and you can make updates yourself and um, and the goal is to make people notice you and your professional talent and especially your professional content and many of the social media channels offer different kind of groups for example linkedin and, and facebook they have great professional groups that uh, where like-minded people are having great conversations and i i especially like following those because i get a lot of new ideas uh, for my daily daily working life like great articles and and great tips and and inside knowledge and and for example in twitter there are not groups but you can find relevant hashtags and follow the conversation within those hashtags then you can create awesome original professional content like find your voice and find your way of of creating content and i'm sure that people will uh, will notice you then you should uh, set it straight that you have the right hashtags to use especially if you are um, tweeting or instagramming the hashtags are very important that you take some time to to write them down maybe five to twenty hashtags that that are the most relevant at your 
um, your field of field of business or your in your future um, working life and and you find the right influencers maybe tag them especially if you are using LinkedIn or or Twitter and many of the influencers respond when you tag them more or ask their opinion so I should or, or I think that you should try it and then some of the social media platforms also offer um, like job seeking apps inside the, the platforms or or job seeking opportunities so you should look into into those especially LinkedIn uh, has possibilities in in that and and Facebook has been testing that in North America last year so we might it might get it to Finland sooner or later if it works so find two or three social media platforms that you like that are uh, and that are relevant um, in your in in your future working life and then start using a slice of your social media time for goal goal oriented things then if you are interested in in the monthly use of social media channels in Finland um, I'm sorry this is in Finnish but I have translated it to you so you can also understand this is um, the influencer marketing research from one and a half years ago made by Bing Helsinki and Bakmar and this is uh, most of the Finnish adults so from 15 to 65 and, and this is monthly um, monthly usage of those social media channels and and in all this kind of research it depends what they are looking for so if they are looking whether people are using it daily or weekly or monthly and and this this doesn't say that if they are using it in goal-oriented way or social uh, media kind of way because for example YouTube I I watch YouTube videos every month but I don't follow the influencers there it's it's more like finding uh, finding great example videos for my lectures or maybe listening to meditation music so I watch YouTube videos but not in a social media kind of way and Facebook and YouTube are the most most popular channels still even though uh, they have been uh, it's been all over the news that people are leaving Facebook but they are still in the monthly usage going strong next you can find forums and Finnish blogs then fifth is Instagram and I think they they have been growing rapidly during the last couple of of years then finish vlogs and YouTube influencers then blogs outside of Finland then international vlogs and YouTube influencers and then the bottom bottom line you can find Twitter Pinterest LinkedIn and snapchat and and just to remind you again that it's important that you find the ones that you like and where your target audience is also for example many marketing professionals use Twitter and if you are um, if you are into fashion or arts and, and crafts or DUI or graphic designing or something something visual then maybe Pinterest is the right place for for you and and no matter what your profession is I recommend um, 
making a LinkedIn profile for your for yourself for the future because it's a great place where to document the things that you have been doing professionally and I know that many many students during their studies they make projects and they they do excursions abroad and so on and you can you can fill them all in in the projects section of of LinkedIn and if you have been doing some kind of certifications maybe language certifications or Google or HubSpot certifications or even like hygiene certificate you can find a place for them in on LinkedIn as well so take advantage of of that and, and make a great and to, to sum it up one to three channels where you can focus especially on the on the professional content and showcasing your professional talent and and not all the all the channels need to be dedicated to your professional content you can have private channels as well and, and like channels that are completely dedicated to your free time but I think that like most of my channels at the moment are blended so my my Facebook content and my Instagram content they are both professional and uh, and personal and on LinkedIn that I that I mainly use only for for professional purposes but but there in there as well I have the the softer perspective on things so I like to share articles about um, well-being at your work and sleeping enough and, and so on and I think that's um, that's completely natural that people have different kind of sides that they showcase in different kind of social media channels then the next slide means that most of the people that are using social media are just lurking or as people like wandering around the shop say i am just watching i don't need your help i am just watching so so most people are not active they are just looking and if you want to use social media to maybe get a get a job or or like building your digital footprint then if you, if you start to be a creator i think it's it's quite easy to stand out with good content because not a lot a lot of people are focused on creating content so most are just looking and about nine percent of people are commenting on the content that is on on social media only one percent is creating new content so my advice is that you aim to be the creator maybe using uh, or creating content once or twice a week or then using content that some someone else already made and and sharing it with your own ideas and and writing down what you thought about the the article or the video or so on then how can you benefit from using social media actively and professionally and there are a couple of uh, couple of bullet points that i find very uh, very beneficial and very interesting um, first of all you might reach an important person even in a big big company ceo or or a social media guru or influencer 
without the gatekeepers because if you want to reach a CEO with email or with phone you might have to pass like a secretary or 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 like a line where they um, guide you forward first and and CEO might be meetings and at work trips and, and so on and you might not be able to reach him or her but um, in social media with tagging them or following them you might get their get their attention and I like tweeting whenever I attend events or seminars or or lectures and I like uh, like tweeting about the presenters ideas and I always tag them and most of the time the the big gurus and the big speakers that are on the on the stage will after their presentation go to social media and answer the comments and maybe even retweet uh, retweet your tweets and I think it's amazing like you are this tiny little ant in the in the audience and then you tweet something and suddenly the person on the stage notices your your comments and your ideas and the next bullet point is something that um, some people might find a bit creepy but you can still use it um, as your advantage so in the internet people rarely ask your status title or degree so it means that sometimes the, the people that are not uh, like educated uh, or official expert or on on something uh, with their content they create um, create the vibe that they are so the great content proves their expertise and you can also use that even if you are uh, still a student you can start creating uh, great posts or uh, blog posts or whatever uh, concerning like your field or what's going on in, in your in your study field so if you really like marketing you can start blogging about marketing and and taking part in in the conversations uh, and that way proving your expertise um, then the next bullet point is about networks and we are all part of many different kind of networks the people we went to school with or the people we studied with and and the teachers and the neighbors and and the people that you used to work with and and your old bosses and and so on and if you can send a clear message to your network saying what you want to accomplish or where you need help many people are willing to help um, especially when when you can tell a story uh, and like a great heartwarming story about yourself as a hard-working person and and I've sent messages to my network whenever I've needed help and they respond I can guarantee that people are willing to help if if you can send out a clear message on what you need so if you are brave enough try that when when you need to find your your next next job make a Facebook post make a LinkedIn post about that and ask help from your own network and then the last thing is that you and only you are in charge of your own digital footprint so only you can make 
make uh, the first page of Google your own Hall of Fame. Otherwise, it will show your own like football, old football results or, or you coming in fourth place on the school skiing uh, contest or so on. And if you make an effort, you you make great um, profiles to social media channels. Maybe you give an interview or you take photos or you make a blog or a web page about your yourself. Those are the kind of results that will be appearing on the first page of Google and of course it helps if, if your name is not the most common but even, even all the Korhonen people and, and Mäkinen people around Finland or, or the Smiths or I, I don't know what's very common English last name but, but you can still uh, create content that helps you stand out and and make the employers notice you and then it's time for our last slide of today uh, i often get asked um, that how can you leave a mark to a company that you are interested in maybe working in in your later later life so how how can you leave hints or like cookie crumbles around their digital spaces to let them know that you are interested and you are in it for real of course you can go on and and read the the company's web page you can subscribe to things for for example the newsletter or many companies have pdf guides you can follow their social media accounts or or find their key people on on linkedin and start following them or or sending them a personal message maybe saying that I'm I'm really into your company and I would like to follow your your content and and the conversations that go on around your profile. Uh, you can take part in the conversations uh, around the different social media channels. As you can see, not that many people comment on on stuff so 90% of people don't so it's easy to stand out especially if you have great opinions or if you have anything not crazy to say so you can make a good impression on their social media channels um, and you can look up professional groups uh, on LinkedIn on Facebook and so on that have uh, that the members of the company are active in and you can be active there and and shine in in the conversations then you can inbox somebody from the company and send contact contact requests and and just to remind you that it's very important to send some short message explaining the, the contact request. I teach a lot of students and I get a lot of contact requests every week and I only approve them if they send me a message or if I clearly remember them but I teach around maybe 300 students per year and some of the lectures are very big there might be 120 people on the lecture so i don't remember everybody's name and everybody's face but but if i get a message saying that i was in in your course earlier this fall then i of course will accept and and welcome you into my network so after this webinar if you want to be contacts you can send me um, an invitation and, and a personal message so i can be also a part of your network 
But we are coming to an end for today. Uh, thank you for your attention and thank you for watching and hopefully you got some new tips in building your uh, professional talent and, and your personal brand online and taking charge of your digital footprint. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.